So in this video, I just wanted to do a quick follow up on my last video, which was, is this new Canyon Air Road? Arriba! So a very brief recap. If you didn't see the, uh, the last video, then maybe check it out. But basically we were looking at this frame from a Zwift commercial and speculating as to whether this is the new Canyon Air Road. Anyway, we got some uh, some comments that came in from that video, and I just wanted to go through a few of them. Obviously, one of my favourite was, uh, dude, you are killing it. Great content from Michael. Thank you, Michael. And then we also got quite a few comments saying stuff like, you missed the 12-speed cassette. Maybe with the new Dura Ace DI2 wireless. Is this a wireless rear derailleur? Hard to see with the video resolution. And if I'm completely honest, when I was making the video, I was looking at the bike, not the uh, the group set. I just assumed it was Dura Ace. As you do, I thought I'd do a bit of investigation. I had another look through the commercial. The most relevant shot I could find was this one. And if we look at this, it's still very difficult to see if we're looking at a new version of Dura Ace there. So what I then did was I zoomed in and I stayed stabilize the shot around the axle of the wheel which gives us that. Now brightened it up a bit, lifted the shadows a little bit and tried to sharpen it a little bit. Well it's up to you guys to speculate really. I can't see a cable coming out of the little hole there into this derailleur. If we look at a Durace derailleur as it exists today there is a little cable obviously that comes out here with the uh, the power and the instructions to it I guess to change gear. Unlike the ETAP which is obviously all wireless and has got a battery there is no cable. You tell me guys is that a wireless Dura Ace derailleur and if so where's the battery? I can't really tell but does that look like a normal Dura Ace derailleur? I'm sure we've got some experts out there who can who can tell us. So if you stick it in a comment down below. As to whether that is 12 speed, psh, who knows? I guess probably. There it is a bit closer up. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. Is it, isn't it wireless? And then from Hink, we've got 2021. You probably mean 2020. I did think about that and I thought, well, bike manufacturers tend to like to use big occasions to release their bike. And generally, if it's released at the Tour de France, it will have the next year's designation on it. So who knows? We'll have to wait and see on that one. So there were some other comments as well about disc brakes. Would much rather use the old one without disc brakes from Neil. Shame they've ruined a great bike with horrible disc brakes from Paul. And then Neil again saying, disc brake rubbish. Don't see Jumbo Lotto rubbish riding Disco or Ineos. Well, you're absolutely right there. Jumbo Visma don't use discs and nor do Ineos. Now they're GC teams, so they're going to be the last ones to switch over. But in very recent news, Movistar have switched over to discs and actually finished a 37 year deal with Campagnolo forgive my pronunciation, and I've gone over to SRAM and the latest Access group set, which for a GC team like Movistar, that's quite a big deal. Uh, and then also Lotto Sudel have gone over to the disc brakes as well. So it's definitely gathering momentum on the disc brake front. You know, it's okay to still like rim brakes. There's nothing wrong with that. The only thing I'd say really is when I was a kid, I had a record player. Then I had a cassette player. Used to love my cassette player. Then I had a CD Walkman. Wasn't so keen on that. If you jumped around, then it used to skip. Then I used to have an iPod. Do you remember those? Uh, and now, now I don't have anything because it's all stored in fluffy little white clouds up in the sky. It's absolutely fine to like rim brakes, but you just have to accept that you're going to become Retro Man. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like everyone and everything in the world, they're just waves on the beach. They come and they go. And on that bombshell, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.